wrap of this morning's proceedings. Good morning, Elvis. Well, it is a day four of our live coverage of the Oscar Pistorius murder trial right here at the North Gauteng High Court in Pretoria. And uh, we have adjourned for a short uh, break this after they have just asked the court. This is uh, the two legal teams asked the court to uh, just go and get clarity about a witness that they were not uh, prepared of that is going to testify next. But uh, let me just give you a roundup of what has been happening since this morning. Of course, you know, every day when Oscar Pistorius arrive at court, the media, um, you know, it's a hype of activity. Everybody waiting for him, trying to get that perfect shot. We saw them again. But this time, again, like yesterday morning, everybody behaving, waiting for the Paralympian to make uh, his way through to the courtroom. Uh, we saw the third witness in this matter, and that is Charles Johnson taking the stand again. We know that his testimony was uh, paused yesterday when uh, the defense asked to get access to the notes that he made uh, from which he wrote his testimony and statement that he handed in to testify in this matter. They also wanted access to the computer on which he compiled his uh, statement. Uh, today, uh, he took the stand again and we saw the defense, Barry Rue, once again hammering him over what exactly is it that he and his wife, who is the first witness in this matter, Michelle Berger, what exactly exactly is it that they claim they have heard on the morning of Valentine's Day when Riva Steenkamp was shot by the Paralympian Oscar Pistorius. Now, we know just to, to, to take you back to what they have told the court, both Michelle Berger and Charles Johnson, is that they were woken up by the screams which they claim must, ha must have been those of Riva Steenkamp on the morning of Valentine's Day last year. And that was followed by four shots. Now, Barry Rue has been hammering them on, you know, what exactly is it that they heard? Was it screams from Riva Stienkamp? You know, was it distorted screams? Or was it, you know, uh, Oscar Pistorius screaming for help after he had realized that he shot Riva Stienkamp after, had mis after he had mistaken her for an intruder, as he has already told the court that he thought that she was an intruder. It was a mistake. He did not mean to kill her. Of course, the state is claiming something different, saying that it was premeditated murder. He shot her in cold blood. He planned to kill Riva Stienkamp. And today, uh, the defense is trying to prove that actually um, it must have been the sound of a cricket bat uh, that uh, these two witnesses might, might have heard and not gunshots as they have claimed. He continued to hammer uh, the witness, uh, telling, uh, telling him that, you know, how sure is it, is he, that what he heard is, uh, is what he says he heard because it was in the wee hours of the morning and he seemed very confident in his statement telling the court that he is sure because sound travels very effectively and very clearly in that time of the morning everything is very quiet so he's sure that he heard a woman scream and that was followed by gunshots and we are obviously uh, expecting another witness after the matter goes back into session. And that's our reporter Patricia Fasahi outside the High Court in Pretoria. We'll cross to the uh, court in a short while to give you live pictures from there.